Oh my god, I found another secret area. Where are my notes? I'm gonna be famous for finding this. Welcome, friends. Now I've removed the foul stench of last time's... whatever that game was called. I'd like to introduce you all to today's all-positive review on the Pixel Asylum. There are some games in life that just can't catch a break, or they're just too subtle to be appreciated for their hidden wonder. With that in mind, I present to you Big Rigs Over the Road Racing, a game from the year 1998 whose subtle genius was massively overlooked by millions of gamers. Although this PC game was also released on the Atari 2600, the Auric Atmos, and as an app for the Samsung Smart Fridge, Big Rigs never managed to break into the gaming mainstream, unlike that other game. Oh, that's enough of that! Big Rigs has its unique flaws and quirks, but these hide many subtle messages about compassion, patience, friendship, and exploration. I'm playing the base 1.0 version of the game, as patches will only serve to wipe out this game's hidden majesty. At the selection screen we have four... Um, cars to choose from. Although all of these vehicles are 14 wheels short of the 18 wheel thunder on the cover, I chose the Sunrise W12 for this playthrough, as it has the most impressive cup holder, ashtray and mud flaps. Now we have five playgrounds to choose from. My choice for today is the Evil Devil Passage. Oh look, we also have a Forgotten Road 1, but no Forgotten Road 2. Wow! It's so forgotten, even the developers forgot it exists. Oh, that's so subtle. Well done, devs. Anyway, on to the race. Ready and... Oh, well, it hasn't told us to go yet. Well, that's why the other player's still sitting there, then. Oh, thank you for waiting for me, friend. No, 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 you go first. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't. Do you know, I went first last time. No, no, I insist that you go first. All right, then, friend, you've bent my arm up my back. I'll go first then. See you on the other side. Now the race is underway, aided by the wonderfully simple controls, I somehow managed to avoid all the wild police chases during every scene of my playthrough, even though they were on the front and centre of the box art. <sighs> I can also assure you that you haven't gone deaf. This is another unique twist for Big Rigs. While driving, you can't help but feel a sense of peace and tranquility with the world around you. I would always prefer this to having a load of terrible music and sound effects. However, for those of you that find this difficult or uncomfortable, allow me to add some missing sounds for you. Right. Now I've filled up the truck and my belly, I'm back on my way. Oh, this level of realism is really something. Oh no, I've turned too late. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna crash. Oh, oh, well, let's try that again. Ha, <laughs> you can't crash in this game. That's a wonderful feature. It's so relaxing to know you won't get punished for every little mistake unlike that other thing I played. Why must you mock me? For further enjoyment, you can drive up hills and mountains as well. This level of exploration and freedom is fantastic. I can see exactly where they got the idea for the Forza Horizon series now. Now we've come to the end of our race, and my friend's still there. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for waiting for me again, friend. Now, you can go first this time. Oh, I, I couldn't. You let me go first. No, I insist. No, 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 you must go first this time. Oh, you're so kind. I'll go first again if it makes things better. What? <laughs> uh, a d d deliberate typo and a three-handled cop. Oh, I see. That's so you and half a friend can hold it up together. Brilliant. I won. Now I've had such fun, I'd better get around to handing out a final verdict. This game breaks with all tradition and dares to bring a unique blend of relaxation and stress-free fun to the clogged world of driving simulators. For this, I am truly grateful. My final verdict is a second Christmas for all, and a bonus Lloyd Christmas out of 10. Please join me next time as I review the frantic, flatulent failure that is Frogger. 
Thank you for making it this far through the preceding nonsense. If you would like to see more videos from me, or you want to give me some feedback, please leave a comment below. I welcome any ideas for future episodes or any comments, good or bad. Until next time, goodbye friends.